Okay, I'm going to cover how to enter your first song in Music Prompter. So we're launching the app for the first time. So this is what you'll be seeing. It's warning you now that the database is empty and to tell you to go to the bottom left to launch the song library. So we close this window and we open the song library. And we also get some brief instructions here of how to create a song. But I'll talk you through that now. So we close and we just got an empty window. But we click new song. And instantly now we've got a blank template of a song. So we can simply, if we wish, just type in some words to a song. So this is a song. Uh, all is good. And what we would do is also, no complicated syntax, we want to also put chords. So we position the chords where we want to. So we can have, say, A minor, E, F. And we could carry on making our song like this. And once you've completed making the song in this way, when you're happy, you click Format. And it will go through the song, and you can see it's detected the chords and made them a different color. So it's spotted the chords and we could enter information in here and then save our song. So that's one way. However, there's a useful resource uh, you know, all, all around the internet where we can get lyrics songs. So I've got some I downloaded here and it's just plain text, nothing different, but uh, I will copy that into my clipboard and go to my app and now I can actually paste the lyrics in and instantly see even though they were completely unformatted now it's detected the chords and colored them appropriately it's also detected the heading so things like chorus verse and highlighted those accordingly so now at this stage we would give the song a name And we could set the key, the time signature, beats per minute if we wish. The beats per minute will be used to actually set the metronome in the, uh, the tool. Duration is an important one because this will dictate the scroll speed of the song. And then we can also put a strumming pattern. Okay, and now we store the song and you can see in the database it's populated with the correct name and title. We also have in this interface the ability to transpose the song so if you're not happy with the chords that you downloaded off the internet you need it in a different key we can just click this button and we can transpose up and down and then once we're happy we close and instantly the song is populated on our window and at this stage we have the choice we can increase the size so if we're working at a distance we can change the size of the text we can scroll through the song manually with the touch or with a mouse we can all use also use these keys of which there's hot keys you can specify as well so you could actually have a foot switch that would you know skip the song forward as you're reading we have the auto scroll feature based on that song duration I covered earlier. And then you can also see here that the chords were detected and it shows you the chords in the song. And we can actually hear what those chords sound like as well. So we can... And uh, there you go. So that's an intro to entering your first song. There's lots more functionality in the app, but those will be covered in other videos.